Hello and welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the relative locators in Selenium 4. So as you can see in the previous tutorial, we have covered these basic eight uh, element locator strategies. And uh, then uh, I've also created a tutorial on the XPath and CSS selector, the advanced selection strategies. You can visit that. Uh, which will be part of this same um, series and now in selenium 4 they have the option of the relative locator so what exactly are the relative locators uh, they are previously called as the friendly locators and this is added in selenium 4 to uh, help you locate the nearby you know elements so these are some of the uh, methods that are available so like above, below, to left off, to, uh, to right off, and near. And um, now what this uh, does is with the relative locator, the find element now accepts there is a new method that they have added with tag name, okay, and which returns the relative locator. So we'll uh, go ahead and understand how you will be able to use it in your Selenium automation. It is pretty helpful and a nice functionality that, that has been added in Selenium 4. Uh, and how does it work? So basically, if you want to get more details around how exactly these relative locators have been implemented, these uh, this uses JavaScript function, which is get bounding client rec. And if you want more detail, you can go through and read these documents about this function. But uh, at, for automation, I don't think that's required if you're learning from the basic. So um, just uh, you can go through and learn how you will be able to use the relative locator. Now, if you see the relative locator, uh, the above method, right? So what it does, it, it returns the web element, which appears above the specified element. So in this example, say for example, you are trying to find the element email address, then if you use above, so basically you can specify above the password field, okay, or below the email field, okay. So if you are trying to identify the password field, then you can specify below the email address field, which is the below method. Then you have the to left off, right? So if you want to find the cancel button, you can specify to left off the submit button, okay? And it will return the element, which is the left of the element that you have specified. And then to right off will return the web element, which appears to the right of the specified element. So for example, you want to find a submit button, uh, you specify to the right of cancel button, it will go ahead and find the submit button. And then near is another one, which is the last one. So uh, this returns the web element, which is almost 50 uh, pixels away from the specified element. So this is uh, another method that you can utilize. And then they have also specified the code uh, or, you know, like which uh, package you need to import for uh, this code to work and what all, um, you know, code or lines of code that you need to add the format. So let's go ahead and uh, add the library first. So because this is available in Selenium 4, so we have to first add the libraries for Selenium 4. Now to add the library, because we are using Maven dependency uh, tool, so we'll simply go to the Maven repository and search for Selenium Java and get Selenium 4 from there. So Selenium 4 is still in uh, alpha phase. If you see here that it's not released yet officially. So that is why we have been using 3.141.59. And if you see my pom.xml, this is the version that we have been uh, using. Now, in order to demo this functionality, we'll get, uh, we'll go ahead and add uh, 4.0. So I have tried using alpha 6 and this functionality uh, of relative locators uh, didn't work with alpha 6 so basically what we'll do is uh, we'll add alpha 5 okay because alpha 5 works fine so you, you will be you know uh, able to practice these relative locators with this alpha 5 and hopefully when um, you know this release uh, of 4.0 is the official release then all these issues will be fixed in the official release. So to add, simply copy this Maven tag 
dependency tag and we'll come back to the palm.xml and paste that dependency tag here and I'll comment this out okay so let me comment out 3.141.59 and I've added 4.0 alpha version 5 okay so let me save it and now maven will automatically get all the dependencies that are required for this particular selenium version okay now once it's done you can see that 4.0 alpha hyphen 5 jars are available there okay so we have done the setup now let's go back to the locators file all right and now i'll demo the same website here so source demo so let me copy the url and update the link here so that we will open that particular url and then let's start with um, the above uh, locator so in the above locator what we need to do is so if you scroll down so it returns the web element which appears above to the specified element and what element whatever element you specify right so if you specify um, say for example in this case you specify the password so you can say above password and then it will find the username and how you will do it so you, first thing is you will find the web element with you know either id or you locate that particular field so in this case we first have to find the locator for password and then we can use um, this particular locator okay the web element to basically find out the web element that is above this particular web element so we can specify the tag name of the above element and specify the element that is basically below that now what is the first step so basically the first thing is we have to import this package right so we have to import this relative locator with tag name package so that you know we can use that method so we, we simply um, add that package here okay and once we add that then we have to basically specify the password field so we have to find out the web element for the password with the find element by and then the next thing is we'll find the above element with a tag name okay so let's see how it is done so first step is to uh, find the web element so let me delete this line so we have opened the website once we open the website uh, we are trying to find the username with tag right so for example why in which scenarios this will be really helpful so for example for this particular username field you don't have any unique attribute that you can identify this particular object or web element okay then in that case what you can do is if there is an element nearby to the right to the left above or below which you can identify uniquely you can identify that say for example in this case password and specify that the field or the web element above password right and then you'll be able to find this username so this is really nice and helpful um, trick and uh, functionality available in selenium 4 so let's identify the password field first so if we scan the password field there is an id okay so i'll copy that and we'll identify this particular web element so uh, what i'll do is i'll store um, the web element into the password field okay so let me uh, you know we'll say web element password um, and then driver dot find element sorry dot find element by id in this case and i'll specify the id that i have copied okay and now this password um, variable contains um, this web element the password web element okay now with this particular web element how we can identify now we, i want to identify the username with the tag and specifying that this username is above this password field so if you see this second uh, line here then 
I want to find say email address field and how we can do it. So, so there is a new method which is with tag name and I'll specify the tag name for the username field and I'll then say dot above password field. So password which we have stored in the password web element. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll say driver dot find element and now instead of by we'll use with tag name right so this is newly available in selenium 4 and what is the tag name so tag name is input so we can simply say input sorry it's lowercase input so how would we get that? So if you scan this or if you inspect this web element, you'll see that the tag name is input, right? Now, the next thing is dot, if you'll say dot, it will give you all the methods that are available with this particular, with tag name, right? So above, above web element or above locator, above below locator. So all these are the new methods that are available. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to find the web element above some web element. So now I want to find this, uh, the web element with tag input, which is above password field. Okay, so I'll simply copy password and paste it there. Okay. And now if you say dot, then, uh, sorry, it, close the bracket if you say dot then you can send the text or there are other methods that are available okay so I can so this is a text field so I'll send some text there so I'll simply say text send keys and I'll say testing all right so now what will happen is uh, this second line will find the element with tag name which is above the password field okay so in this case it will find the username because it is above this particular field, right? And enter the text testing in this field. So let me save it and run this and see how it behaves. So it will open the Chrome browser and you can see that it has typed in testing in the field, right? Now, if I close this okay let me terminate this program now with above I can there are other methods available as well so there are there is a method below so similar uh, technique you can utilize with the other method so for example in this case this login button is below password right so what we can do is let's see what is the tag name for the what is the tag for the login so tag is again same input and then we'll simply say instead of above we'll say below so in this case below password so in this case what it should do is it should let me because this is a button i'll change it to click right i want to click on this web element so in this case it will click on the login button okay let's see how it works so i'll save it run So in this case, now it will open the browser and directly click on the login button. And you can see that it clicked and there is username is required error being displayed, right? So that's how you will use below. Now, similarly, if we go back and see the documentation, you can use to left off, to right off and near, okay? so. For using to left off, what you can do is in the same, say for example, this is one of the web element. I'm, I'm taking just, you know, a hypothetical example and this is another web element. And if you want to click on this particular web element, you can say, uh, you can find this web element and you can say to left off password for all users. And then it will interact with this particular web element. And then if you want to interact with this particular web element, which doesn't have any unique attribute, you can find this web element and then you can say to write off accepted usernames are, and then it will, the code will interact with 
basically this particular web element and similarly near is anything within 50 px or pixels will be uh, any if there is any web element which is within that limit it will interact with that so that is all about the relative locators in selenium 4 hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching